I hope I am audible to every one of you. Yes, sir. Great. Sir, so you are audible. Okay, dear. Thank you very much for confirming that. Good evening, sir. Good evening, dear. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I am putting my screen on sharing mode now. So today we guys will be learning how can we uh, design a two-way communication system. Okay, so it 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 will be great if you can uh, you know grab a pen and a copy on which you can on which you can make a note of the things which I am going to tell in this lecture to you guys. So, uh, you know, this is the first screen that the user is going to come on. And okay, I can I use a Word document to create to notes as I have been creating no notes in it? You just have to make a note where whatever you want to use, you can use that. If you want to make, uh, if you want to use a notepad, you can go for that also. So this is the sign in screen. Now, I hope everyone knows about this thing, how I have designed this sign in screen. So what you guys have to type in order to search for sign in screens on this Google search tab, sign in mobile images. If you will type this thing, automatically you're going to come across, yes, is this? So if you will type this thing, sign in mobile images, automatically you're going to come across these kind of images. Fine. And what you guys have to do now, you guys can make use of any of these uh, sign in screens in order to create a sign in screen like this. So what you have to do, uh, let's uh, suppose if we, if you want to make use of, let's say, uh, this is screen. Okay. Now what you have to do, you have to right click on this and come on this copy image option. Fine. Then you guys have to open this paint software. Okay. And here you can paste it using control and V together. Control and V is a shortcut for pasting anything in the uh, MS Paint software. Now this is small, this image is very small in size. So let's choose some other image. Let's choose this one. Okay, let's select this one. It is also very small in size. Let's open this uh, in a bigger screen, on a bigger screen. So now this is how you can copy and paste any screen on the, in the, in the Spain software. Now with the help of this selection tool, you can select the part of this image which you want to use uh, in your app. Suppose if you want to use this much of uh, this much part of this image, so what you can do, you just have to click on this select tool over here and with the help of the selection tool, you need to select the area you want to use for your app. Once you're done with making the selection, 
press control and c together you need to press control and c together in order to copy the uh, po pa the part of the image you have selected once you are done with copying the part required part you need to open a new paint ms paint software and here you can press control and v together to paste that part which you have copied so it is going to look somewhat like this okay now uh, as you can see there is a white part which is getting reflected over here how can you remove this white part so for that you can reduce the size of this window okay uh, let me admit the students who are there in the waiting room fine now what you guys can do you guys can reduce the size of this window like this okay and this is it now you can save this image with a unique name on uh, somewhere on your desktop or on any other location arhant anand is also waiting shubh is also there okay so we can save it i'm saving it on the desktop of my device with this name sign in screen okay and let's hit the save button now if you want to import this image which you have made which you have created what you have to do you can come on the design sorry you can come on this design part okay and from this drop down over here just select this new screen in order to create a new screen for your app now here on this new screen you have to place you need to place this image button like this and you need to expand it okay <coughs> once you are done with placing the image button you need to put the image which you have created on this image button and for doing the same you can make use of this choose option and you can upload the image the one which you have created some while back and this is the one i think yeah this is the one now let's select this image and open it so the image has got successfully uploaded here now just click on this choose button in order to put it on the uh, image button you have defined on the mobile simulator now here as you can see this white portion is getting visible now in order to eliminate this white portion what you guys can do you guys can uh, change the settings from contain to cover okay so automatically this white portion will get eliminated now as you can see this is not looking good you know why because you know we are missing some part of this image and here also we are missing some part of this sign in button so it is not looking good how can we make it look good we can edit this image okay what is happening here some part of this uh, image is not visible to us okay this uh, circular box is not visible to us now how can we make it look good we can select this part okay and we can bring it down like this select the part and bring it down okay this is called editing so ms paint is a very good software with the help of which you can edit the image in a very good way now there is some white portion which is getting reflected over here how can you cover this white portion select this this part let me just enlarge the size of this screen so that it can be more visible to you guys so i am selecting some part from here okay and i'm copying this part using control and c together once you are done with copying this part you need to paste it using control and v and then you can expand this part in such a way that it can cover the whole white part which is getting visible to us so that's how you know you can cover the whole uh, white part similarly the same thing we are going to do with this 
a black button also we need to bring it here okay now in order to cover this white part which is getting reflected uh, in the bottom of this black color box we can copy the this uh, part this blue part of this screen and expand it and cover it like this so you know that's how you can play with the designing or you can edit the image now what you have to do you have to save the changes using control and s together control and s is the shortcut key for saving the changes once you are done with saving the changes come on this app lab select hit this choose button upload the image the same image which you have edited so this is the one okay let's open this and upload it on this platform once again okay and now what we have, let's okay there is a person waiting in the waiting room now let's select this image as you can see now it is looking good okay so that's how you can uh, you know edit any image which you want to make use which you want to use for your app your design so this is the first screen now i am deleting this screen for now because we will not be using this screen or else we can do one thing we can make use of this screen no problem i am making it the default screen now how can i make a particular screen a default screen just by clicking on this make default option okay so what is going to happen now as this screen is a default screen so when the user will access this app which we are going to create on his device so this is the first screen he is going to come across this is a screen he is going to come across for the first time now let's come on the second screen so this is another screen which i have prepared okay so what i am trying to build here i am trying to make a an a two way communication system by the help of which a teacher can interact with a student and a student can interact with the teacher okay that on this we are working right now now how i have created this screen that's what i would like to tell you so there is a just a second let me create a new screen first on this i'm going to show you how i have created this screen this teachers screen fine now for this what i have done teacher with green board clip art gif animated motion so this is the thing with which i uh, you know i searched for this image this teacher image which you are seeing over here right now it is a gif image are you all able to see this teacher moving are you all able to see that she is moving right now okay so how i have created yes. this screen this isn't this That's is a right. gif image which you are seeing right now so in order to That's find the gif say. image gif image is is a dynamic image which in which you get to see the objects moving okay in which the uh, the uh, objects appears to move from one place to another or they move at the uh, they appear to move in the same place where they are so this is the thing which i typed you you guys have to make a note of this thing you know this is a keyword with which you can find these kind of images clip art okay and the second keyword is gif animated motion gif animated motion is a second keyword with which you can find uh, you know various kind of gif images on this google search engine so where is that image okay uh, right now it is not visible to me you can make use of these kind of images also you know it is also looking good see it is also looking good 
but if you want to find out the one which I have made use of, uh, let's make it GIF animated. Okay. Let's see whether we'll be able to find that image which I have used on my app using this keyword or not. How about this teacher with chart clip art GIF animated? Uh, Okay, this is, you guys can make use of this one also. Fine, and I think this is the one which I have made use of. Okay, so that's how, you know, you guys can find out these uh, GIF clip art images. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, now what you have to do, you have to uh, right click on this, you need to right click on this and come on the save images option. And then you can save it with a unique name on the desktop. After that, we are going to repeat the same step with which we imported the first image uh, in the app lab. So I'm saving it with this name teacher animated. Okay, and here I go. Let's come on this panel uh, app lab again. Where is that screen we created? Yeah, this is the one. And now what I am going to do, I'm going to make use of this image button and expand it like this and now let's select the image the teacher's image which we saved some while back on the desktop this is the one let's open it so this is the image let's select this let's hit this choose button Okay, so here is the required image, fine. Uh, if you will change this thing to cover, so this is going to, the image is going to appear somewhat like this. Now it is not looking good, so I would like to keep it like, uh, you know. And now what you can do, you guys can reduce the size of this image. See, this is how you guys can play with the height and width of the image. Okay. Uh, I am keeping it like this. Now, how I have created this screen over here. What is the trick I have made use of for creating this blackboard kind of thing over here. So for that, what I have done. Where is that screen? Screen four. So what you guys have to do, you guys have to select this text area option. Okay, select this text area option and put it over here on this. Fine. And now you guys can adjust. Let me change the background color of this to, uh, let's say green. Okay, I'm changing it to green. And this is how you can adjust the size of this text area. Okay, now it is looking like a, uh, you know, green board. Fine. Now here, uh, because it is a text area, so you can write down something in it.
what else do we have on this teacher screen okay we have got a uh, you know the one button also this send button how i have created this send button so for creating this send button what you guys have to do you guys have to make use of this image button option just put it over here okay you can put it over here and then you need to come on this hit this choose hyperlink automatically you are going to come across a screen like this now instead of uploading any file what you guys can do you guys can make use of this icons library of app lab now here you can find you know you'll get to see various kind of icons you can make use of for making your app look more good so this is the hand icon i have made use of now it is in it is black in color if you want to change the color of this uh, you know hand what you can do you can play with the icon color property and for the white color what is the code for white color it is 6 times f f f f f f f so that's how you can change it to white okay now what else do we have on this teacher screen we have got one previous button and one next button okay and there is a uh, there is a text box also input box uh, in which the teacher will be entering the score and this is a text box over here and there are two buttons present over here so let's define all these components on this screen there is that screen 4 yeah so the first thing that i need to define is the label box for getting the student's name reflected here i'm going to name it as the student name okay and let's increase the font size of this one now how to create the next and previous button if you want to create the next and previous button what you guys can do you guys can again make use of this image button so i'm going to create the next button first and after that i will create the previous button so again we can click on this choose option we need to go on this icons library and from here we can select we uh, if you want you can type here next so you are going to come across various icons which you guys can make use of uh, as a next button uh let's select so now i am selecting this one it is it is also going to look very good okay and let's reduce the size of this button yeah now it is looking good okay and right now so i have changed the settings to cover so that's how you can create a nice looking next button okay uh, let's increase the font size of this student name so that it can match with the font of the this uh, next button if you want to you know if you want the user to take interest in the app you have made designing part is a key thing is one of the important things you need to focus on now what you can do you can copy this button by you using control and c remember this keyword remember this shortcut key control and c you guys can use for copying any component and control and v you need to press together control and v v as in violet you need to press together in order to make a copy of that component okay now let's replace the icon of this with a previous button icon so i'm selecting this one for now okay yeah now it is looking extremely good i think fine and here i am going to define one more text area where the teacher is going to receive the answers of the student okay so you guys have to plan all these things first 
planning is the key part planning comes first before coding anything okay if you have if you have planned good you will be able to make a good app then uh le now let's define a boundary for this text area which uh, which we have defined over here so for defining the boundary for this text area we guys can make use of this uh border width right now it is not getting reflected because because the border color is white uh let's make it gray now it is looking good okay and after this we need to define two more buttons over here so this is how okay this is the first button and you can copy this button and press control and v together in order to make a copy or duplicate of this button so with this the teacher is going to get the answer and with this the teacher is going to submit the result fine now if you want to change this uh, to the color which you have assigned to this board what you guys can do you guys can copy the background color code of this board and then you need to come on this button and paste that code in this background color property of this button so automatically uh, now this is looking extremely good okay so that's how you can create this teacher's image fine and here by default uh, you can write down something like this right the question here okay so it is going to tell the teacher that she needs to write down the question in the text box so i'm changing the font of this text so i'm changing the color of this text to white okay now it is looking good fine so that's how you can create a teacher screen okay similarly if you want to create a uh, this student screen how can you do that and one more thing one more thing and which is left is this score button school. so for creating this what you guys can do you guys can make use of this uh, text input box okay where the teacher will be entering the score of the students which she will be making use of for giving the score to the student on the basis of whatever answer they have given for the question asked by the teacher so right now it is not looking good but if you will make if you will increase the border radius see now it is looking extremely good okay and inside this we would like this thing to get reflected by default score so that the teacher can come to know that uh, this is the this is a part this is a component in which she is required to enter the school now comes the student screen how i have created this screen so uh, you know there is a board and there are some students over here fine so for creating this screen the thing that you have to type is this the student the 
green board with the students uh, clip art images remember this word it is a very important word if you really, if you want to find out you know very good images very good cartoon images then this word is going to help you a lot so you guys can make use of this is second so you guys can make use of this screen also if you want this is also looking nice uh, is there any other screen which we guys can use for our app okay this is the one not this one this is also a good screen okay you guys can make use of this also if you guys want this is also a very beautiful screen you know there are a lot of kids over here you guys can make use of this one also this is also very good so you know these are some of the screens you guys can make use of for creating a student panel fine now how i have created a student panel over here this is a simple image which you are seeing okay see this is a simple image which you are seeing over here now the way i have placed a uh, you know what we call it text area over this see the way i have placed a text area over this chart which is getting reflected on this gif image in the same way what i have done i have placed i have placed a label box see this is a label box which you are seeing right now and i have placed it over this board over this screen which i have imported okay this is a input box which you can get it from which you can get from here from the design toolbox these are two uh, different drop down boxes this is the text area and these are two buttons which i have made use of for creating this beautiful screen okay now you guys can go ahead and ask your queries in case you have any related to the things which i have taught in this lecture today. can i ask sir is anything which you want to ask is any query is any issue yes sir is there anything which you were not able to understand so it means that uh, in the student panel Am I you place you? yes sir you are audible is there anything which you want to himarshal you are saying something dear i'm not able to hear you yes sir i am asking something himarshal are you saying something yes sir yes please go ahead dear i was not able to hear you earlier okay so in the student panel you created in that you place the label on top of the image so that it looks like the board is working like that himarshal your voice is very i am not able to hear you properly dear if you can speak loudly so so i was asking about the student panel in there you have placed the label so how is the label gonna work that it will get from the teacher to the student how how i have defined this label box over here that's what you are asking yes so see what you have to do uh you have to come here in the design toolbox and put this label over here like this okay now no, because here because i have been using text areas i was not so familiar with the label just a second marsha just a second yes marsha now tell me beta so i was saying that till now i was not familiar with the label i thought it might be some sort of tool but i was not so familiar with it i keep using text areas for that okay 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 i got it ne uh, see marsha you can make use of the text area also if you want okay it is also very good option the way we have used this text area on this teacher screen in the same way you can make use of this text area on this student screen also it is one and the same thing but i find this label box more interactive so that's the reason i make use of this label box generally when i'm creating okay yeah. is any other question is any other thing? yes sir yes beta 
so my doubt is uh, like on the teacher panel mm -hmm. will we uh, when we get the answer will the teacher can edit it because but, in textbook we can edit it also ha huh, but that, yeah. in that yeah. case we will have to define an update block for that na the teacher will be able yeah. to edit it of course but why the teacher will edit it Okay, why the teacher will edit it? That this is also the because reason. Because if the teacher will edit, the student won't be able to get the marks or whatever we have. That defined. is right. And besides that, we will not be uh, you know defining an update property for this uh, uh, text box over here. Okay, so that's that's how that's why if the teacher will edit the answer, he will she will not be able to save it in the table, na? Okay, and besides yes. that, besides yes, that, if, if suppose you don't, so we can also check the read only option in the text area. Read only option. Where is that, dear? Right, Achha, this that one here. Yeah. This is also here. absolutely correct. This is also a very good option. You can make use of. If you'll make it read only, what is going to happen? The teacher will not be able to edit uh, this text. Whatever text uh, will get reflected will get reflect. when he will fetch the answer of the student whatever answer any student has submitted when he will fetch the answer from the from the uh, table of student he will she will not be able to edit that answer okay. sir it means the read only option set the text box just like a label that is absolutely correct okay is there anything else you guys would like to ask no and there was a student who was asking about sir how can we make the background scrollable i am definitely going to teach you each and everything so you don't have to worry about that this is the first thing and we are going to go step by step okay i cannot teach you how to make a rocket or how to make a engine directly okay you have to understand that means we will go to basics intermediate advanced yeah. and that is absolutely right we need to understand the basics first na dear and after that we will yeah. understand Yes, who's this? I do not understand the previous lecture in which you can use the country drop down country states and city. Okay, so do one thing. I will take it. Take this issue of yours in the next class. Okay, because it's only one minute is left with me. So I'm going to take it in the yes, next. Yes, sir. Class. Fine. And because, besides, I'm going to share. Because the code is not working properly. but now it is working properly dear on that day there was some issue with the code and i have rectified the issue and then i have shared with you guys the code again now if you will check it na it is working perfectly fine yes okay now what i will do i am going to share the link of this app which we have uh, designed today with you guys on whatsapp just try it out on your own and try and make these kind of screens so that you can become good in designing part okay I am ending this meeting now thank you very much god bless you all